the points on the cutting needle and see if this is going to work all right. Now, yeah, Ray, I want you to come up here and just say a word or two. You know, we got about, oh, three minutes of record here, so there's no no hurry about it. Just take your time and say, say something, and uh, I want to tell you how glad I am to be here, and I hope that it won't be very long before we'll see you again. Well, it ain't going to take me three minutes to say what I have to say because I'm a hell of a speech maker. All I want to say is this. When you guys get back home and you start shoveling coal back there and I'm just burning the little gas furnace, you can just think about how well I'm getting along down here and keeping nice and warm and you're having to get out and shovel the snow and work through the sleet and all that sort of stuff. So just think it over. Okay, Ray, and then just a minute now, you're going to see what your voice sounds like on the uh, radio. But first, I want May to come up here and say something. Come on, May, come and say something. This is the record that we're going to keep, you know, and then we'll make one for you to keep here. Hello, Black Molly. Like this? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Hello, Black Molly. Uh, what am I going to say? Oh, there's so many things I could say that I just don't even know where to start. When you hear this record in your home, and you're far away from me, well, you'll know that I made it when you were sitting here before me. And you'll never know how pleased I was to have you. And... Uh, right on where we left off, and oh, there'll be a little... Uh, kind of a groove there where it starts in again. Uh, come on, May, now come finish your speech. <laughs> then we'll have uh, Lillian say something on here. Okay. Yeah. Well, as I was saying, when I was so rudely interrupted, uh, but Lillian, you'll never know how glad I've been to have you here. Uh, when you are gone and far away, I'll uh, think of you very many times, and I hope that you'll think of me. And I will. And, uh, okay. Well, just go on and say something. <laughs> what are you feeling out about? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't think of anything to say. My heart is so full. Well, um, why shouldn't it be? I don't know either, uh, but uh, time is drawing uh, short on this record, and I can never tell either one of you how much I enjoyed having you. Now, uh, maybe Poppy Katie would like to say something. No, as I said before, I ain't got nothing more to say much other than that. I, uh, what she said, that's just what I, I, I think, too, and so you... People should know all about that, so that's all there is to it. Huh? Oh, we just got a little bit more on here, <laughs> Ray. Ray. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I was afraid. <laughs> I was afraid that the darn thing would uh, get stuck. It's quite a bit on one of these large records. You can play it for quite a while. Uh, well, I don't think that whistling is going to show up when the record's played. We'll just make a sort of a trial record out of this, and, and then we'll uh, make a large one, another large one, when we, when we get through. Well, I'll take it off before it sinks it. Okay, Raven, now I'll try it once more, and hold this microphone just a little further away from your mouth, but hold it in front of you. Okay, but, um, well, there isn't anything much to say. I said it all before, but it didn't record. And, well, and so... As I said, uh, I had a lot of fun at the dance I was just at. Uh, I got home late. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad you're here, and I wish you'd come back sometime, stay here and for a long, long time. And uh, well, I had a lot of fun and different things. <laughs> All right, mate. You come on, stay up now. We'll put, put you on this one. 
Yeah, you know. Well, hurry, hurry, you won't be any records. She's going out. <laughs> well, they all say time's a waste, so I got to say something. I don't know what to say. Come on, dumb plug. <laughs> well, you know, after you have about three drinks, why well, you get to play hell around here like we've been playing all evening. Of course, you people in Michigan don't uh, appreciate playing hell like we do out in California. But nevertheless, I uh, have had a swell evening. And uh, um, I'll let... Uh, Lillian, say something now. Come along, Lillian. Don't stand there waiting. Well, thanks, May. We've just had one grand evening. In fact, we've had one grand week. We've spent uh, a whole week here and just had one grand round of uh, talking over old times. <laughs> and for goodness sakes, Ray, come on and help me out. <laughs> What's the matter, you guys? Don't you know how to talk? Well, if you don't, neither do I. I ain't got nothing to say either. I done said it already. So that's that. Make it snappy. Make it snappy. We're running out of records. I've had a very enjoyable evening, Ray, and but I wish the bus could get a job here so that he could stay with us. Well, uh, y'all done now, Lee? I guess that wasn't a very long speech. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. There's about maybe a oh, quarter of an inch of record on here. And, well, I suppose you do it. <laughs> all right, well, I'll see you. Boy, is this going to sound beautiful. Shakespeare. The name of this poet, uh, poem is Fuzzy, and it goes something like this. Uh, Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy wasn't very fuzzy, was he? Fuzzy? Ain't the way I heard it. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a little bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy hadn't any hair. So Fuzzy Wuzzy was very fuzzy, was he? Or was he? <laughs> All right, Gloria, now come and tell us about the bicycle ride. <laughs> well, they want me to tell about the bicycle ride, but I can't think of much to say, but I'm going to say that Aunt Lillian and I we would decide to go on a bicycle ride, so she borrowed Joyce's bicycle, and we went for a nice ride. We both got to be so tired out, we just decided we needed a little practice, so we're going to practice up for a while and someday ride up to Hickory, or Hick Corners, they call around here. Well, I think Aunt Cleo should say something now. I'm running out of things to say. <laughs> well, Aunt Cleo has anything to say, so she'll read a little verse. It seems to be about health. Quite true. It says, to get his health, he spent his wealth. And then with might and name, he turned around and spent his wealth to get his health again. Oh, <laughs> every time somebody runs out of something to say, they... <laughs> Just shove this thing in my face. And <laughs> that's up to me. Tom, you come out and do something. <laughs> I'm not prepared like I usually am. And uh, I just uh, felt a little bit uh, taken back here. When I was making a record, they ran out of material. So I gave up the idea of even talking tonight. But I would like to say this, that we're having a lot of fun here this evening. This is November the 8th. We have uh, Cleo here and Joe. Doris and Keene have just went home. And uh, we certainly are enjoying their company. We hope they stay a long time. I think that uh, I'd like to hear Beulah's voice now. She's over here looking through a book, but I don't think she's going to find anything. It's one of those books that never has anything in it, although it's got about 500 pages in it. 
I have found something. I think this is very fine. I think it's very important that I should recite this or read it. Let us, then, be up and doing with a heart for any fate, still achieving, still pursuing, learn to labor and to wait. Oh, here goes the microphone shoved in my face once more. <laughs> Mother, can't you say something on here? Look, I'll bring this wire over here, and all you got to do is say hello, people, and uh, because, you know, this is your party, Mother. Well, they say it's my turn, so um, I don't know uh, what to say, only that I'm very happy to have my children with me again. And we're all here excepting Betty, and we hope she'll be here in a day or two. And then we will have a jollification. Thanksgiving is almost here, and we'll be looking forward for, to a nice get-together and a celebration in general. It's been 16 years since she has been here with us before, and we certainly do appreciate having her with us again. And I'm... Now I think this would be all I have to say tonight. Good night. All right, David. We just got room for you now. <laughs> well, I'm always taught I'm prepared for what to say. So this is going to be very much done. Start with your pants, down. They're just about done now. <laughs> no, I don't know what to say. I... Uh, Kind of tired this evening after our bicycle ride, Joyce, that Lori and I had. I haven't uh, been on a bicycle for quite some time, so I thought I'd make that a workout. Oh, by the way, I have instructions to say this is 1942, <laughs> in case we should forget just exactly which year it is.
shepherds were canvassing the valley of blue mountain. Jimmy will go to sleep in his own little room all day. So we blue birds over, the violets are sober, so not a Oh, that's swell. Now, who's, who's going to say something? Now, Phil, come on up here and say something before we'll have a record. Well, it's very nice to be home. Yes, it is. And we all are my sisters and mothers. The only trouble is I have a hard time getting out for late. Come on, Joe. <laughs> come and do your stuff. <laughs> Tell them how bad that cold is. Well, I'm not going to say much because I got an awful cold. Uh, but uh, I just want to say that uh, we have a new champion ping pong player here, which is Keen. And uh, I think next game, why, we're going to have a real session. All right, can't you cough for us, little Joe? You don't know whether you got a cold or not. <laughs> come on, Tom, come and say something. Yeah, good cough. <coughs> <laughs> That's better. Well, with all this coughing going on around here, I think that we we'll all have a little chance of that. But uh, speaking of this ping pong, I've tried to beat Bud a couple of times, and while he was away to California, I practiced real hard, and when he came back, he well, still beat me. Is, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I even bought a ping pong table, and it didn't seem to help. But anyway, I practiced, and I still get as bad as it was when it started. Uh, I think I'll turn the microphone over to Keen. He's anxious to say a word in it here. I'll have to laugh for you. <laughs> Okay, I think Dragon Roller and Goomba. <laughs> 